at Morphol. We believe that making AI open, accessible and easy to use for e-commerce companies is the most valuable currency there is. Our platform makes it easy and accessible for merchants to solve common business problems through intelligent use of data. In this tutorial, we will go to the setup steps required for generating predictions based on Google Analytics data. From the Morphle dashboard, I can choose one of the available machine learning models. I select the Shopping Stage Completeness model, which predicts how likely a returning visitor is to add a product to cart, go to checkout, or complete a transaction. Each machine learning model is compatible with multiple data sources. For this setup, I choose Google Analytics. Please note that I can connect Google Analytics in two ways. The advanced mode requires manually creating custom dimensions and using the Google Developer Console to enable the Google Analytics reporting API and creating credentials for it. Even though it includes more steps, the advantage of this method is that it requires only read permissions for your Google Analytics account. For this tutorial, I select the automatic mode that handles most of the setup for me. I start by connecting my Google account and allowing the required permissions. We will see in the next steps how these permissions are used. Because I have allowed access to my Google Analytics management entities, I can easily select the account property and view from which I want to import data into Morpho. The next step is to configure custom dimensions. The client ID and session ID custom dimensions are created by default. I can also enable the optional user ID dimension. These dimensions allow Morphol to ingest data and generate predictions at the user level. After saving my settings, I am redirected to the final step. So far, we have created the custom dimensions, but they will remain empty if we don't add any values to them. From my Google Analytics admin panel, I can check the entities that have been created. Here we have the three custom dimensions. From the property user management section, I can see that a new user has been added. This user is in fact a service account with read and analyze permissions for the property I have selected in the form. It is used by the Morphol Data Ingestion Pipelines when retrieving reports data from the Google Analytics Reporting API. Going back to the Morphol dashboard, I will now finalize the data source setup. If I choose the Shopify platform, I am presented with instructions and a script that I need to add from my Shopify admin. After navigating to the Online Store Preferences Google Analytics section, I copy and paste the script into the additional Google Analytics JavaScript box. Back in the Morphle dashboard, I finalize my setup by saving the settings. Since the data source is active, I can select it for my model and proceed to the next step. I now choose the training and predictions intervals. The model is created and will start training and generating predictions. Lastly, I have here the dashboard for a model that has already been trained. For my shopping stage completeness model, I have access to an overview of the predictions that have already been generated for my website visitors based on their Google Analytics data. From the Predictions tab, I can even see the prediction values for each user. For the Shopping Stage Completeness model, each user has a probability of adding a product to cart, going to checkout, or completing a transaction. Next, I can enable integrations with other marketing platforms and start using these predictions in campaigns. That's the more for Google Analytics setup in a nutshell. Sign up today and start infusing AI-based personalization into your store.